8 News is taking action tonight, uncovering more financial troubles for Hopewell City Councilman Dominic Holloway. He's the same one accused of stealing GoFundMe money from a grieving family. 8 News reporter Cheyenne Pagan has been digging through court documents all day and joins us in Hopewell with what she's learned. These court documents show that Holloway is facing two separate lawsuits, all involving financial issues, but it appeared to be business as normal for him at tonight's city council meeting. Hello, Holloway. Yes. Dominic Holloway was back in his seat at the August Hopewell City Council meeting, doing the business of the city while facing some financial firestorms from two different lawsuits. Court documents uncovered by 8 News reveal a suit was filed against Holloway on July 27th. And it Chester resident Brittany McDaniel claims she and her partner loaned Holloway $4,000 during his run for city council in 2022. McDaniel says he told her he needed the money to pay a fee to take the seat on city council. She goes on to allege Holloway knew it was a loan, but he's now refusing to pay her back, stating the money was a gift she gave him. This is all coming to light just days before he was due in court over separate claims that he took money from a fundraiser he set up for a grieving family. You may remember Holloway started a GoFundMe for the family of Paris Moore, the eight year old who was shot and killed last December. But Paris Moore's mother, Brianna Taylor, filed the suit claiming that of the $15,000 raised, she only saw about $5,600. Holloway was due in court for this case on August 2nd, but since his address was somehow wrong in the original court documents, he had to be served again and the date was continued. The Hopewell Sheriff's Office told me they have now officially served Holloway in both of the lawsuits as of Tuesday afternoon. Holloway's next day in court is August 16th for the McDaniel lawsuit. You can read the full documents for both lawsuits posted on our website at WRIC.com. And Hopewell, Cheyenne Pagan, 8 News.